whole idea of the calculus project is to dramatically increase the representation of students of color in honors and advanced level math courses and to ensure their success in those classes so that they can have multiple post-secondary opportunities, particularly in STEM. It's really trying to promote uh, diversity and inclusion in the workforce by um, helping to bridge the educational gap very early on. I used to struggle with math, or like I didn't really believe in myself because math is like difficult. Um, and the Calculus Project has like provided me with like some stability and confidence in myself. We want to make sure that we're leveling the playing field so that you can have access to academic support so that you can excel in mathematics and that it, that academic support does not have to be tied into the financial status of your parents. And so in addition to students meeting with their teachers during his or her office hours, we're providing opportunities after school. The Calculus Project has classes like over the summer here at North and it takes place during the month of July. And you know, it kind of seems like, oh, it's math in the summertime, blah. But it's actually pretty fun because a lot of the other kids there, you kind of like make new friends. Like some friends that I have now, I met in, in the calculus project. So that's pretty cool. You know, the reason why we have 180 days in the school year is built off of the agrarian calendar. Students aren't f farming or harvesting anymore. So what we're doing during the summer is creating an opportunity for them to have more time to learn the content, learn it in depth, so that when the school year starts, they can hit the ground running. In addition to learning math, we take them on field trips, we bring in exciting guest speakers, we do project-based activities, but also it's an opportunity for students to develop strong relationships with their teachers. I think that's why I fell in love with it, actually because the teachers explain things so thoroughly and so clearly, um, just for a way that I can understand it, that I actually, that made me like fall in love with it. So now in school, it's like the only class I look forward to. One of the challenges uh, with getting students, in particular underrepresented students, to take their academic risk to go into an honors and advanced level math class is the fact that in some cases, they're the only ones. They feel isolated, they feel alone. Students of color who can achieve at a very high level in academics sometimes deliberately underachieve so that they can drop down into a lower level course where they can be with peers who look like them and may share their same culture. So what we're doing is turning that on its head. The community is, I feel very relatable because you're in a room with a bunch of people who look like you, um, have like similar struggles or like similar like love for math. They build relationships over the years. By the time they're seniors, they have these habits of working with each other and providing support to each other um, in mathematics. So it's a community building piece as well as reducing stereotype threat and having students not feel like they have to represent anyone other than themselves in class. First, they like prioritize our needs. So if we like group working, then they'll make more group working just so we can understand the math. Like they really like prioritize our learning. We have a drop-in homework center um, and Anyone is anyone who's been part of the calculus project at any time is eligible to come in. Um, we we don't we don't actually turn anybody away. Um, kids can bring their friends even if they're not part of a calculus project. It built up my confidence, like obviously, but it also built up my confidence in asking questions because typically I used to think that asking questions meant that you know I was stupid and. I didn't understand what was going on, but actually it was the opposite, and it helped me like, grow out of my fear of asking questions. We also have the PRIDE curriculum, where students learn about the contributions of women and men of color, stuff that they would never learn during the school year. And then the last uh, component, which was not something that originally existed but developed organically is the peer teaching component. Peer students help um, other classmates that are maybe a little bit behind in certain areas or um, even just students that are in a few grades below. 
When they're teaching the younger students math, it makes them stronger mathematicians. And for the younger students, they have role models. And we pay these students, so it's also an opportunity for students who may come from homes, uh, you know, may, who may be economically disadvantaged to actually supplement their family's income. We narrowed multiple gaps. We saw significant increases in students scoring advanced on our MCAS, which is our state test. We saw students score higher on the PSAT and the SAT. I would like to go to college. I don't know where. <laughs> Um, but I really want to be a chemical engineer. Um, I have some family members who are chemical engineers and I've heard about their work process, like what they do, and I found it very interesting. My backup is if chemical engineering doesn't work out, I would like to have some sort of career in like STEM or science. The calculus project will really prepare them for math courses they may take in college and it could just really affect um, what they plan to do with their future.